morning, my fellow men, my brothers. On your spiritual journey, retaining your seed and becoming a soul of light and love. Today is October 8th, 2023. Guys, 363 days of retaining my seed. Two more days and it's one full year. By the grace of God and His mercy and power, I've been able to do it. But let me insert a caveat in there because some of you younger guys may be saying, how can he possibly do go that long? Well, first of all, let me say when I was young, I couldn't. When I was in my 20s, 30s, and 40s, I could not do it. I tried. I went seven days, I think, once. But to make you feel better or to give you encouragement it's harder when you're young because you have more i guess the word is um, vitality or vigorosity libido are some terms for that so when you get older guys i think when i hit about uh, late 40s 50 maybe you lose the the erections that happen all the time and you lose the libido. So in my opinion, I think it's easier for older men to retain. Now, that being said, I do, my brother is hasn't lost it. And, you know, him and his wife have sex all the time. He still can get it up at the age of... <laughs> the age of 59 years old, guys. So it just depends on you, but... Let's, let's move on. Um, why are people attracted to you when you retain your seed? The magnetism is real and the hate is real. So when you are a retainer and you've put away these spirits of lust that have enslaved you and you've decided to become free and not please yourself, your physical body with sexual desires. You've decided not to do that anymore. You've, what Christianity says is crucify the flesh, which simply means disciplining your body. Why are people staring at you? Why do people hate you? Why are people attracted to you? It's your light. Because I, let me give you an example. You guys know I have a regular sales job. I also have, I do Uber Eats on the side because where I live, guys, gas is $7 a gallon for premium. Now it's come down a few cents, so, you know, maybe six fifty. But it's not just the gas, guys. When you buy a piece of fruit, it's like a dollar for a piece of fruit now where when I was a kid, it was like 50 cents a pound, 30 cents a pound. Now it's a dollar for one piece. <laughs> you know what I, you, you feel me? You feel me? If you live in America, inflation is raging right now. It's expensive. So I had to do this Uber Eats delivery for the extra money, guys. But just to survive, pay the bills. Um. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So why are people staring at you and why do they hate you and why are they attracted to you? Men and women, guys. It's not just the women. Yeah, we like it when the women stare. We like the attention from the women, but the men stare. For example, picking up a McDonald's order yesterday. Saturdays I work all day long, guys. I, I don't work my regular job, so Saturdays I can do... I did Uber deliveries. I did 20 deliveries yesterday, guys made some a night i paid my electric bill yesterday working but i'm in mcdonald's picking up i'm in line there's a guy in front of me maybe my age he gets his order he's wait places his order he's waiting he turns and you know i can see him staring at me guys i don't really like it when men stare at me so you've listen to my past videos about hateful stares, but I don't look at them because it takes my energy and I don't have time to give energy. 
but I can see him out of the corner of my eye. He just keeps staring. So these are some examples, okay? And I, I get it a lot, especially when I enter restaurants. Uh, later in the evening, I was at another burger boss picking up an order, and there's a guy sitting at the counter eating, and he can't stop staring at me, guys. Now, I don't do this to brag. I'm telling you the reason they're staring at your light. What do, you, what do I mean by your light? Well, when you're fapping, looking at TikTok, Instagram, you're looking at cheeks and the beepography on the X-rated sites, you are now invited dark spirits to come into your life, to come into your spirit, because you're a spirit too, inside of a body. So these dark spirits now have a license to have dominion over you, over your spirit. And you're now a slave to those dark spirits, guys. So you're walking around with darkness. You're depressed, you got low energy, low vibration. And that's most of the men you see. I see it all the time. When you are ascending and becoming light, you now can see the darkness more clearly. And I see it, and I may make another video, that's a whole other topic of how you see it. But guys, it's your light. So I'm gonna give you some examples of this. In scripture, guys, Psalm 37, okay? Verse 5, at verse 6, it says, He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. So, what does he mean by your innocence? It means you're not your innocence from the darkness. Okay? you are not a slave to the lust. Now there's other dark spirits like wrath and envy, but those are a whole nother videos I've made and other topics. We're talking about retaining your seed and putting away the, the dark spirits of lust. Okay, guys. Um, this is a great Psalm 37. I'm gonna just go ahead and read it. It's real short. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord and trust in him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked sh schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. So guys, the people, they see you, but... Their spirit senses your spirit. They see your light, guys. Okay, let's go to uh, Job in the Old Testament, chapter 11. Verse, well, we're going to read these 14 to 17. Get rid of your sins and leave all iniquity behind you. Then your face will brighten with innocence. You will be strong and free of fear. You will forget your misery. It will be like water flowing away. Your life will be brighter than the noonday. Even darkness will be as bright as morning. Guys, verse 14, get rid of all your sins. You're getting rid of the sins of lust when you stop fapping and you're retaining And your face will brighten with innocence, guys. It's about the light and the dark. God is light. 
love is light. So you've taken a lot of darkness out of your soul and now you're shining with innocence. Your life will brighten. Your life will be brighter than the noon day, guys. That's why I have this picture here. That's the noon sun. When the sun is at high noon, and here in Southern California, we have days like this all the time. Bright, sunny days, no clouds in the sky, blue skies. And when the, the sun is at the noon and it's shining bright over the land, your soul will be even brighter than that. And other people can sense it. Now, most people are dark. So these people in public, when they see you, they're... They're seeing light because you're a, you're a rare breed, guys. And if you're fasting, you've just amplified your semen retention. You're shining even brighter. Why? Because most people eat for pleasure. and We're stuffing ourselves. We're feeding ourselves constantly throughout the day. But when you fast, you're practicing disciplining the body or crucifying the flesh as Christian Christians would say which means denying the body of pleasure food is pleasure so you're denying it of pleasure guys when you're not fapping you're denying the flesh the body of sexual pleasure when you're not eating you're denying the flesh the body of food pleasure when you don't use narcotics you're denying the body the flesh of sensual pleasure when you're not drinking alcohol you're denying the body the flesh of the pleasure you get when you get buzzed or drunk you see guys it's about disciplining your body and so when you do that you're shining So guys, this is why people are staring at you. This is why the dark spirits hate you. This is why the neutral or good spirits are attracted to you. You are a rare person. If you're retaining your seed or fasting, you're like the 1%. I guarantee you, wherever you're at, I doubt if there's another faster or retainer in your presence. You are the only one. You are above, spiritually, above everyone else. And the women see it. They're attracted to it. The men see it. They're attracted to you. They want to be near you or talk to you. Or they hate you because the dark spirits that are on them hate you. And they're manifesting through that person. So don't be alarmed when you receive hate. And don't be alarmed when you receive attraction. You know, reach out and the ones that are attracted to you, talk to them, engage in them, have fellowship with them. Maybe it's an opportunity to show them love, like God has shown you love, or show them mercy. The evil ones, the ones that hate you, show them mercy because God has shown you mercy when you were dark. And yes, they hate you and they want to kill you, but you're protected as long as you don't engage or take their bait, you are protected and you can turn the other cheek and show them mercy and love because the Lord showed you mercy and love when you were dark. So guys, let's close with a prayer today and let's say, thank you, Lord, for your promise to make me shine. Even in my last years, physically, I may not always feel perfect, but I can still glow for you with a peaceful and trusting spirit. Even when my body does not work perfectly, I can still pray for others. My work for your kingdom may be just starting. Keep me trusting in you, Father, aware that you have not left me by the side of the road. 
I want to reflect your love and faithfulness every moment of my life. Amen, guys. Have a great day. And I am praying for you. For all that listen, I pray that the Lord strengthen you and be with you and shine upon you today. Talk to you soon.